My lovely imps, we are on to our fourth topic in the Pride Discourse Gauntlet. And this one is a bit of a classic, if I'm, if I'm completely honest. This one's been around for a few years, and it's still going. That is, of course, bisexual versus pansexual. Now, this is another one that inspires a lot of strong feelings, but that I think that everyone would benefit from keeping everything a little bit in perspective. Um, the bi versus pan discourse has been raging for a very long time. And there is a lot of different ways that people approach it. But most recently, I've seen people approach it from a very weird and, in my opinion, again, trying not to be judgmental, this is just my opinion, and I hope you'll hear me out on it, from a perspective that seems very pedantic. And I mean very pedantic, because lately what I've seen is people seem to be concerned about literally the words bisexual versus pansexual not having enough of a unique definition to be considered separate words unless we reinforce more strict definitions for each of these. Do you see why I say that's very pedantic? Because it's like an actual concern with the words as if it matters whether they have overlaps in meaning or not, which it doesn't. We have a million words that overlap in meaning and sometimes mean literally the same thing. You know, bathroom versus restroom. Car versus automobile. They mean almost, if not literally, the same thing. So I don't know why that's become a talking point that I've seen recently. Maybe it's just what I saw most recently and people are still arguing about other things about it. But it's a very weird thing to me um, to care about that in particular. Because uh, the, the rest of the conversation around bisexual versus pansexual um, is more uh, like, it's more centered around, it's, it's kind of like hooked into another conversation, which is of course, uh, there is a side that says, we should use pansexual because bisexual implies that there's only two. So the term bisexual, um, you know, in, in its own meaning kind of implies a binary, hence bisexual. Um, and the pansexual thing is like, well, you know, that could mean, uh, you know, attraction to many different types of people and it doesn't imply uh, a binary. And there's all kinds of back and forth. You know, people are like, well, bisexual just means I personally am attracted to exactly two sexes. And then there's other people who are like, well, bisexual just means I'm attracted to people like me and people not like me. And then there's, of course, pansexual people, or there's also bisexual people who go, well, I don't like pansexual because it means that seems to imply that I'm attracted to everybody across the spectrum, but I might not be. And then pansexual people go, well, nobody says that you have to be attracted to anybody. So there's all these different points and it's kind of attached to a broader conversation about the sex and gender binary. This is too much semantics. There's a reason I saved this one for last to be fair. Uh, cause this one, this one gets, it gets, it, this one's getting, uh, uh, jargony, you know? Bi means same and different as in homo and hetero and pansexual saying otherwise make me want to choke slam them. Well, to be fair though, and this is just me being fair. 
it's kind of it's kind of hard to be like homo and hetero if you yourself like it, like okay so if you're like if you're like a non-binary person and you're like I'm bisexual and somebody takes that to mean homosexual and hetero does that mean that you like other non-binary people and other non-non-binary people or you you see what I mean so or uh, other binary people. It's just, yeah. But do you see where like, it can be a little confusing for some people? Is all I'm trying to say. I'm trying to give, I'm trying to encourage understanding here. In the end, I personally believe that these two terms are, in my opinion, functionally identical in what they, uh, in their potential. People use them to mean all kinds of different things, which means, like with most things, you have to ask clarifying questions afterwards. But they mean, in my experience, basically the same exact thing. Most people who say they're bisexual, they basically mean, I'll date anybody uh, who, you know, is in, not literally any individual person, but I am potentially attracted to people from all over a spectrum. And people who are pansexual are just using a word that is a little bit more direct in denouncing or, or in eschewing a binary. But the reality is bisexual has been around for a while and it's fairly, um, it's fairly, uh, uh, catchy, you know, bisexual sounds, okay, yeah, cool, I get it. And, uh, and... And it's been, been around a long time. And here's the thing. It hasn't historically only meant... It, it hasn't historically been tied to a binary explicitly either. It's not like it's a new thing that people are going, yeah, you know, binary kind of... Or bisexual kind of implies a binary. Well, we don't believe in a binary. That's been around for a while. People just use it because it's kind of a convenient term that kind of gets across what you mean. Now, there are some weird people out there there are a group of people who are very aggressively bisexual and they mean explicitly a binary and they don't want to talk to and they want to pretend that they're never attracted to anybody who doesn't fit that binary. Of course, the grand irony being that they often in almost intrinsically are attracted to people who do not fit directly into a binary because basically nobody does, but also because those bisexual people uh, often end up going after people who uh, might be like a butch, you know, where it's like a, a, a feminine person who leans very mask in their presentation. So the uh, is that a thing? I assure you, the bisexual, hard bi types do exist. I believe that they are a minority, though. Uh, like a supreme minority. And that if they're that worked up over it, maybe they should just use a new word. Maybe they should come up with a word for themselves. The super straights did it, right? The super straights came up with a term that means I'm transphobic. Why don't they just come up with one? Why don't they call it like, uh, like, uh, like, disexual? Relevant tweet. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Today marks 10 years since I kissed a very attractive twink in a club in Brighton and then found out that she was a lesbian who thought that I was a lesbian. Fire! That is a fire tweet, okay? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Actually incredible. Beautiful. Highly relevant tweet. Actually incredible. What an incredible tweet. Not often I say what an incredible tweet anymore. Wow. Amazing. Beautiful. Love. Absolutely love it. Anyway, 
yes, that was indeed perfectly relevant to what we're talking about here. Uh, the buy versus pan thing seems to be, of all of the things that we've discussed today, perhaps the most manufactured and unnecessary of any of the conflicts. Buying and pan people are not in competition. Uh, if buy people prefer to use the term that means people like me and people not like me, that's fine. That's a valid usage of the word bisexual. Why wouldn't it be? That's, it's, that's, it's totally reasonable to have that be a definition. If the pansexual people feel like using the word pansexual is more inclusive, that's fantastic. I hope that each party would understand one another and recognize that like, hey, I'm, I'm not using bisexual because uh, I don't like it. It's just, or because I, I'm, I'm infringe, uh, you know, in, in, you know uh, what's the right word here? Uh, demanding a binary, but rather because it's a term that fits for me and it makes sense to me. I think the terms are at this point in time, basically the same thing, you know? I really do think that they're they're very 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 similar, but uh, uh, I understand where people have their like their like well you know I don't know maybe maybe we shouldn't imply this, but also it's really not that big of a deal. The thing the thing that's great, and this is a um, this is a really important part. Okay, the thing that's great about the buy versus pan discourse for everybody involved is that the bisexual types will tell you what they are, okay? They are not going to pretend, okay? They can't. They are, they are very worried about the binary, and they will let you know. They kind of highlight themselves. They will volunteer that information. You don't even have to worry about it. Um, I, all, I do understand if people choose to uh, take pansexual to avoid that ever even being a worry. And I think that's great, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think bisexual people are bad for using the term bisexual. I don't think that they're joining hands with the ridiculous weirdos who over fixate on a binary. We're all in this together and the overlap is fine. They're basically the same word. Relax everybody, it's gonna be okay, you know? I think the only thing about this is what flag looks cooler. No, 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 no. Never, never do that. Never, never trick yourself into declaring based on a flag because I know from experience next year they might have changed the goddamn flag. It's, it's a real risk, okay? Half the time you'll be like, ah, yeah, I like this one better because it's the flag and then you'll be using that term and you'll go online and you'll be like, wait a second. And sure enough, they changed the flag and now you're the one with the silly flag. My entire house is bicolored. That's based. A lot of people love the bisexual lighting type thing. Okay, and that's awesome. All right, I'm so here for it, okay? And this is just a little, this is just a little parting shot at the world at large. But there are way more people that are bi and or pansexual than anyone likes to admit, okay? Way, way, way more, okay? And that's beautiful, and that's okay. It's cool, it's actually awesome. One day, I like to believe that it won't be necessary for uh, anybody to be so, uh, invested in any of these labels. And I don't mean that in an erasive sense because I understand the incredible joy and beauty that can come from like being together with other people like you, you know? Meeting another bisexual and, and being like, wow, this is amazing. Meeting uh, another lesbian and being like, that's amazing. But that beauty can exist regardless of the label. You are not the label. I know that this is a recurring feature of tonight, but for real, we are not the label and uh, we ought to be careful and recognize how we are being limited and how 
what what makes us feel so attached to a lot of these labels is not anything to do with anybody in the process of labeling themselves, but rather has to do with a hostile society that hates all of us and wants all of us to be something completely different. And you see what I mean? It's not uh, gender abolitionists or, or pansexuals trying to take away your, your label at all. We are all being encroached upon by the fucking super straights who want to pound everyone into a white picket fence life. And by white picket fence life, I mean a life where you think about having a white picket fence because that's the only thing you're ever going to get if you're lucky. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to Demon Mama.